You guys love to smell great without breaking your wallet. I know that because a lot of the videos I do, my BBB, Big Bang for Your Buck, you know, alternatives to every season for affordable prices. Today is just that. It's an unboxing of four fragrances I have not yet smelled, but I actually did a part one for you guys a few months ago, back in April, which I'll pop it up here so you guys can check out that video. But this is actually an unboxing of four new fragrances from Just Jack. And if you want to learn more about it, stick around. The video's up next. Welcome back to another fragrance review. I'm Max Forte. Today we're going to talk about Just Jack, which is a collection from Dubai. They're also, um, you know, eradicated in New York, Milan, London. So they're all over the world. And pretty much what they do, if you guys enjoy Rasasi, if you guys enjoy Al Haramein, you know, those type of uh, companies, what Just Jack is doing is actually taking a lot of the Tom Ford fragrances from the Signature Collection and also from the Private Blind Collection, coming up with their own versions of their inspired expressions or dupes, copies, whatever you want to call it. But I have to tell you, from what I've tried and experienced so far, I think they're doing quite a great job when it comes to the performance of these fragrances. The smells are very close to the fragrances that were modeled after, and the price point is just mind-boggling. If you guys missed part one, I'll have it up here as well in the description. You guys can check those out. But today I'm going to pop these four and tell you guys what they smell like and if it's worth checking out. Let's do it. All right, so I'm going to do one at a time, starting with this here, which is called Oud Oak. And Oud Oak, it's pretty much supposed to be emulating Tom Ford's private blend um, Oud Wood. So presentation here, as I spoke to you guys in the part one of this particular collection, which is Sterling Parfums brand. Nothing crazy here, just a cardboard box. The bottles are okay, not great, but the juice is actually what's impressing me and what has impressed me in the first video. Spray is actually okay, does the job. Let's do a quick test strip here. Yes, I do own Oud Wood. I have the vintage formulation and I have the great formulation. This is going to be close to the great formulation, meaning it's not as pungent as the gold and brown bottles of Oud Wood from back in the day. But it's definitely, I would say, 90% on the first spray. Very, very close. It's very well blended. It's not overbearing. Quite elegant, quite sophisticated, quite pleasant, as you expect with Tom Ford's Oud Wood. I think it's definitely worth checking out. Again, I'll have the prices in the description for all these fragrances in the description. It's a first impression. I'm just telling you how close they smell to the actual fragrances that I own from Tom Ford. I'm not talking about performance because I haven't really wore these. But I weren't the other ones that I talked to you guys about. I wore the other ones from part one, and they all gave me eight plus hours. So on a first standpoint test trip here, this is very, very close to Tom Ford's Oud Wood. So definitely a great option here for you guys. And stick around. At the end of this video, I'm going to have a special code for you guys, not just for just Just Check Collection, but for something really special that you guys have been asking for the past few months. So stick around. Next up, we have this one here, which is called X Version. And this is supposed to be emulating Tom Ford's Vert Bo Bohem. And by the way, the whole room is taken by the, the two sprays that I give in this fragrance. My wife is back there actually you know, helping me with this video, and she tells me that it smells quite pungent. It's quite overtaken the room. So Vert Brahim, for those of you who knows the Vert collection that came out a couple years ago, it had a couple different uh, Vert fragrances. It had Vert Vincennes, um, Vert Brahim, and had a couple other ones that I, you know, memory fails me right now, but it had like four different Vert fragrances. I'll pop them up here for you guys. But this one here is supposed to be emulating or copying or being an inspired expression of Vert Bohem. So here's the bottle. It's a golden bottle. Some of these bottles are rather tacky. They're not great looking. Uh, this one's okay, a little bit shiny, you know, cheap plastic cap. I'm gonna give you guys, keep it 100, let you guys know exactly what I feel. This one here, again, I'm analyzing the juice, not the presentation. They're not the best. I mean, if you want the best, go ahead and pay two, 300 bucks for a Tom Ford. But if you want an alternative to those fragrances, I think these are quite well made on the scent. All right, this is gonna be very nice, spicy, a little bit incensey. Definitely green. If you're familiar with Vert Bohem, they're very sensual scents. They are capturing the green essence of uh, perfumery. And Vert Bohem is definitely captured here on this version X. Very close. I don't know why they named it version X. You know, they could have named it, uh, you know, Vert something, Vert X or whatever. But anyway, very close. Um, I would say about 85% close to Vert Bohem. Oud Oak, about 90, 95% close to Tom Ford Oud Wood. Let's go to the next one here. This one here is called Ombre Suede, 
which is going to be emulating or copying or being inspired by Ombre Leather from Tom Ford, which is a very successful fragrance that came out a couple years ago. I want to say 2018. And is one of my top favorite fragrances for the fall. Uh, in fact, you know, I have top videos coming up this fall and Ombre Leather most likely will make my top fall this year again. And this one here, let's see if it's going to be any any good. I, you know, like I said, Umber Leather is a fragrance that I wore a lot over the last couple of years, and I, I know exactly how it smells, how it performs. So if this is any indication of being close to that fragrance, I will be able to let you know right off the bat. So as I have a lot of experience with that particular fragrance. So I'm running out of space here, so I'll get the boxes out of here. Uh, let's talk about this one here. This one again is called Ombre Leather. I'm sorry, this one is called Ombre Suede, which is supposed to be you know, an inspired expression of that particular fragrance, Ombre Leather from Tom Ford. Again, the bottles are nothing fancy here. They, they, they look okay. The caps are cheap plastic, but the juices themselves are very nice. Okay, so this one here, not as close. I mean, it is close, about 80%, but it's going to be a little sweeter. I'm getting a little more sweetness than I get with Ombre Leather, which actually could be a good thing for, for some of you. Some of you think that fragrance is a little too dry. This is going to be a little more... Uh, juicy, a little bit more succulent, a little bit more juicy. There's something fruity up top here, perhaps a raspberry note that I get with Tom Ford Umber Leather, but that is a lot drier. And this one here is going to be more juicy. I'm actually getting a very smooth touch here. So it is a nice scent, well blended as well. Uh, it smells good. I mean, all these smell good, but I think the Oudwood is definitely the closest one to uh, what they're trying to, to portray here. Last but not least, we have Fanta Fab. Now, Fanta Fab is going to be emulating a very, very popular fragrance, very controversial fragrance from Tom Ford, Affing Fabulous. You guys know I've done a, done a review for you guys back in 2017. I'll pop it up here so you guys, if you want to check that review, it's one of the most controversial Tom Ford fragrances over the past, you know, few years. He's known to be controversial and to push the envelope. And Affing Fabulous was definitely one. Lost Cherry was another one. Now, this particular company, the good thing about this company is that I know they're going to continue to focus on Tom Ford lines. So, you know, focusing on the private blend and the signature collection. So, stay tuned. I'm sure they're going to put together something like Lost Cherry, something for uh, the Peach one that was just dropped. I think it's called Bitter Peach. So, I think they're going to continue to focus on the private blend, which is really nice. This is, again, a dupe on Affing Fabulous. Another one that I do own, it's a $320 fragrance, I think, or more, $330 by now. I think they go up every year. So let's see how close this is. Ladies and gentlemen, I think we have a winner. This is very, very close. Perhaps not as smooth as Effing Fabulous from Tom Ford, but it's about 90% close. The scent profile, the scent character is definitely very well captured here, but it's a little bit more uh, on the sharper um, end of things But I like it. I like it a lot. I think you know if, if I was wearing this and I went out of the house and somebody knows that I wear effing fabulous for the office Let's say it's my signature scent for work just hypothetically here and I was to wear this 90% of the time or 95% of the time they would not know that that particular day I was wearing this fragrance here and not effing fabulous That's how close these are guys, and I think you guys should try them. Don't take my word for it. They're very cheap and as you guys know, my partner, FragranceBuy.ca, actually carries these. And that's why I want to talk to you guys about that I talked about in the beginning or earlier in this video. I have a coupon code for you guys. You guys are always hacking me for codes for FragranceBuy.ca, which is the partner of this channel. There's a Back to School code right now. In fact, I just released a couple days ago, Back to School. This is another opportunity here for Back to School, whether you want to smell different, whether you're in college, you want to have like scents that will give you like an edge. You're going to stand out from the crowd. I think any of these, but not only these four, but all the other fragrances that we talked about on part one, which are all Tom Ford signature or private blend collection fragrances, you're going to smell fantastic. And these are very affordable, guys. I'm telling you right now, I've worn, not these, but the other ones from part one, they are long glass and they smell incredible and they're very close to the fragrance they're trying to emulate. Guys, the code is going to be MAXBACK10, which is a back to school code. Good for the time you're watching this video until... I think September 3rd is the end date at midnight. So you guys have a few days back to school, which is 10% off site-wide on anything you want to pick out. And also if you get five or more fragrances, it's free shipping to the US. But the site-wide 10% is with the code MAXBACK10. Guys, enjoy again all the information, the links to these fragrances and the code all in the description for you guys. By the way, I'll give you a quick rating here. I think Affing Fabulous is about 95% close. I think 
Uh, Oud Wood was a 90% close. The one that's supposed to be like for uh, Bohem is about 80%. And Ombre Leather here, this one here, Ombre Suede, is about 75-80%. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not saying here that these are beating Tom Ford fragrances. I'm merely saying, guys, this is an alternative. It's cheap meaning very affordable, not cheap smelling. They're very well composed and they're gonna give you good performance. On average, I don't know about these, but the ones I wore previously, which I think I have six of them of this Just Shack collection, which I, again, Tom Ford Signature, Tom Ford Private Blend for a fraction of the cost. And with Friggins by that say customer service is amazing. If you guys don't like it, you can return it. You can swap it out. Guys, worth checking out. I'm just saying that. If you wanna smell great, if you wanna smell like Tom Ford for a fraction of the cost, I think it's a great alternative. Uh, almost price of a decant that you might pick out out there, you can get a full bottle. So just saying, guys, all the information in the description, you be the judge, you make your own decision, just being merely the messenger here. I don't get anything whether you buy it or not. Just check it out. I think it's definitely worth your time. Hope you guys appreciate this unboxing. If you guys want to see more unboxings, please let me know. If you like me to bring you alternative fragrances, uh, I can talk about houses like this. I'm not going to go deep into dupe houses. It's not what I like to do here. But once in a while, when I find something that's of quality, and that you can find it readily available at discount shops like FragranceBuy.ca, which is my partner. I will bring it to your attention, but please let me know if you did like this video. If you enjoy this content, please leave me one of these. As always, support the channel. It's quite important for what I'm doing here for you guys. Show me your support. Subscribe. Hit that subscriber button. About 68% of you guys watching my videos, that's a lot of people, have not yet subscribed to the channel. Guys, please show your support. It's very important for me to continue to do this for you. And as always, hit the little bell icon so you get videos like these straight into your feed, which is quite often. As always, remember, fragrance is emotion emotion, so wear what truly moves you. I'll see you guys back here with another video very soon. Take care.